and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna refurbishing this old dresser and I'm really, really excited to do this because we've had this dresser for so long and I've been wanting to refurbish it, but we just never got around to it. And you might think from the outside it looks pretty good, but you'll notice like over here, this is missing and on the inside, it really needs to be painted and I wanna add the sliding little things so that the drawers slide out more easily because right now some of these, they don't budge. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna be doing today. I hope you guys enjoy this video. So the first thing is first, we are going to start with emptying out the dresser, getting all my clothes out and taking everything out from up top. And then we're gonna wood glue the pieces and I'll show you that in just a second. <laughs> all right guys, so as you can see, I have emptied out the dresser. It's looking empty and you can also see how it's like brown inside. So I wanna paint it. That's one of the things that I'm gonna do with these. But here are all the drawers. Some of these were quite a process to get them out. As you can see on the inside, they are super brown as well, so I wanna paint them. Some of them have like some blue paint from I think the dresser was blue a long time ago, but this is a real vintage dresser. Like you can see the lock that used to be on it which means that it was probably handmade, which is nice because it's good and sturdy, but over the years, it's definitely fallen apart. Like you can see there's holes here um, in between. So my first step before I paint these is gonna be to wood glue all the pieces and make sure that they're fitting really well. The worst one of all is this one up here. And this one you can see is, oh wait, actually this one, which one's the one I'm looking for? One of these is in really bad repair, but I can't figure out. Oh, it's this one right here. So this one, you can see, is all in pieces. So I'm gonna have to fix that up. Ah, it's literally falling apart in my hands. So that's the next step. I have my wood glue. I think I left it on the bed. I have my wood glue. I have spackle. I'm gonna take off the knobs and I'm going to spackle them and re-screw them in because you can see that they're pretty wobbly. So they need to be re-screwed in. Um, but first things first, I'm gonna wipe everything down with some multi-purpose cleaner because it looks like it's been a long time since it's been clean and uh, I just wanna make it nice and fresh. So that's the first step and then we're gonna start wood gluing these pieces together. This is the wood glue I'm using, the Tight Bond Original. It was like the cheapest one, professional strength interior use. Some of these are in really good repair. Like this one is pretty sturdy, but I'll probably just put some wood glue just to be safe. Some of these drawers you can definitely see have been worked on over time, but some of them have not. So I'm just gonna do my part and hopefully this will be the last repair this will need for a long, long time. Um, so yeah, I'm also gonna take out these and I'm gonna put the spackle so that it can dry and then I can re-screw these in later. process I had also thought about changing the knobs and also I was thinking about getting like the um, drawer liners but right now I don't think that's necessary I'm just gonna use spray paint for the inside and the outsides I'm gonna keep the front and the dresser the original color the white that I purchased it as but yeah definitely want to get rid of the brown because it looks weird when I pull it out especially you can see like all of the blue that it used to be so we're gonna get this baby all fixed up so here's an example of one that you can see somebody worked on previously it has nails securing the sides, so that's good. I probably don't have to do much with this one besides paint it. All right, guys, phase one is complete. You can see all the glue drying. I'm obviously gonna have to sand it down later. This drawer was so hard. I ended up having to use like, oh, sorry, not this one. This one was so hard. I had to use like nails and stuff to get it in there, but they're much more secure than they were before. So once those are done, the next step is gonna be to start painting. And after, of course, we sand it down and I'll probably wipe it down again too because it has a lot of Nala hair and stuff on it. On it. I'm also gonna uh, look at these while those are drying and make sure that all of these pieces are secure and then I'll probably start spray painting in here as well like see this one is not secure so I want to make sure all these pieces are good and then we can spray paint this one as well. 
Good morning, guys. It is the next day, and I um, wanted to show you where I am progress-wise. So last night I got a little restless and I painted the inside like a dark brown color and I like it. I think it looks a lot more polished than before because before it was like the light brown with like blue spots. I just used this old paint that we had from an old apartment. So I think it looks really good. I might go in there and finish off the paint and just touch up some spots. And then out here, I'm currently working on sanding down the area where I put the spackle to re-screw in the screw. So I'm sanding that down in any like glue spots and then I'm gonna start painting. This is what they look like now. You can see the brown is just not cute. <laughs> and then now there's all the glue on it. And then some of them have blue paint from when it was painted last. So I'm excited to get them all the same color. I am a little sad that the metal is gonna be covered, but you'll still be able to see the keyhole from the front. So that'll be cool. But yeah, hopefully I can get these painted today. And then by Sunday, which is two days from now, I will be able to add the little uh, things where the drawer slides on. All right, I've put some rags all around so that way I don't get spray paint anywhere. There are some nails sticking out because it was the only way I could get some of these pieces to stay in place, but it's gonna be fine. I'm gonna cover it with the spray paint and it's gonna be inside the drawer so it's not gonna hurt anybody. But let's do this. guys it's been a couple days wanted to show you the progress on the paint for the dresser so here are the drawers i decided to paint the insides the same brown color as i had painted the inside of the dresser and i think it looks really really nice i wasn't sure if i wanted to do all white uh, or paint the insides different but i actually really like how it looks with the insides different i think it'll look really nice why are you so hyper? So um, actually with the drawer slides that I was planning to put, I'll show you guys, they unfortunately don't fit. I didn't think about this when I was doing the process. So the drawers are the exact same width as here. So there was no room to add the drawer slides right here. So that's a little sad, but that's okay. So really the only thing I have left to do is add the handles back, which are sitting over here in a pile. So that's the last step. And then I'll put together the dresser. All brand new, painted, looking so fresh. The hardest thing I think for me is gonna be figuring out where the holes go since I spackled these to get the, uh, what's it called, uh, drawer handles on. I think I'll probably just like go through the front to make a hole in the back and figure it out from there. So let's do this. guys the dresser is finished i wanted to tell you it's been about a month so after that last clip was taken we had uh tried to put the drawers back in and they actually still did not fit so we took this thing to a professional sander and he helped us sand the drawers so that they fit a little more easily so if you have a vintage dresser i would highly recommend taking it to a sander if you have the same problem i do where it was homemade and the drawers aren't quite even and they don't they kind of like squeeze when they go in i definitely recommend a professional sander while I was there, he told me that it was actually he told me that it was actually a bad idea to paint the inside like this because right here, like the drawers rub on it, so it makes it a little bit stickier. So sorry, that was a rookie mistake. I was learning how to do this as we filmed this video. But here's the final product. When we took it to the sander, a couple of pieces of paint chipped off. So we're actually moving this week. You can see a bunch of boxes. So we're probably gonna repaint it in our new apartment. But I'm so happy with how it turned out, just how the insides look. I love the like dark interior to the white exterior I think it looks so nice and it's so much more smooth in here now and everything just slides out it's literally like slides like butter whereas it used to be very difficult to open so I'm really really happy with how it turned out especially compared to like the brown and blue that it used to be on the sides so it looks a lot better 
Down here, these are the two that had to be taken to be sanded. So they do need a little more of a paint retouch, which we are gonna be doing in the future. But I'm just so happy that they slide in and out more easily. Look at that, like butter. And so I'm so excited to just use this uh, new dresser and have a vintage piece that actually works. So it's really nice, I'm really happy. But be sure to hit the subscribe button if you wanna see us do the second phase of this. We're gonna repaint it. And actually the person who sanded it down for us also gave us new knobs that are like bronze, which I think will look really nice because there's kind of like some like bronzy gold detailing and I think it'll look nice with like the distressed wood. So be sure to hit the subscribe button if you wanna see part two to this video, which I'm not sure when it will be up. I don't know when we're gonna have time to do this but I'm happy with how it looks for now. I think I'm just gonna get some white like uh, paint just to fix this one little spot until we repaint it. But I'm really happy and thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys liked following me along and seeing me refurbish this dresser and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week. Bye guys.